I'm filming. <laughs> what? I'm almost done. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Should I turn the camera on? It's Brie and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I just got out of the shower and I thought I would do um, a little chit chat, get ready with me. I have some time and I kind of wanted to do my makeup just like a little bit. Um, I am going to time myself because I want to see how long this takes, but I don't really have like too much to talk about. I basically want to um, just kind of address like where I've been and what's been going on lately and things like that. Also, ignore this little spot. I don't know where she came from. All right, let's get the timer going. All right, are you ready? Let's do this. Like I said, I already took a shower. Um, that's why my like eyelashes are crazy right now. Um, I washed my face and I like, already put moisturizer on, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I don't have that much time to get ready. I'm getting a fill here soon, so they won't look as crazy. But, well, one of the things I do want to address is my hair. Now, I did a video a while back of my grandma coloring my hair, and I really like the whole white. I probably should be doing my makeup as I talk. I'm just going to be using this Pixie Primer and then this Maybelline, like, green color corrector. I'm just going to put it all over my face because obviously I do have some redness and I kind of like to just like do these steps together. I'm going to mostly just focus it on my cheeks and my chin and I'm almost running out of this primer. I just like to dab it all over. Cute. And then I just take like this knockoff brush. I don't even know where I got it from. Probably like TJ Maxx or honestly maybe even Walmart. But I don't do anything crazy. I just kind of like rub it in a little bit you know but anyways so my hair my grandma usually does my hair um if you guys didn't watch that video i will link it but um she hasn't really done hair professionally for like 15 years she usually just does like you know family hair um and my roots grow in pretty quickly and she always wants me to try and get there as soon as I can so that way like the color will take because like you know when the colors to your head it'll like take quicker or something I don't really know but I don't have the time and I was so sick and tired of how my roots would grow in like if you looked at my whatever video I posted my New Year's Eve resolutions there was like literally like a strip of black because my hair is so dark and in contrast to like the blonde hair it just doesn't look good so i was like well maybe i can just do what i was doing before she would just usually give me streaks and that didn't work out if you can like tell it's kind of gold she even toned it but it just it did not take so i have a hair appointment um today is what tuesday I have a hair appointment on Friday. I don't know when this video is gonna be going up, but um, hopefully they can fix it. I'm gonna maybe try and go and like get more of like a balayage or even like an ombre look so that way when my hair grows or my roots grow in, it won't look as bad. But that's the one thing that's been going on with me is my hair. I know it sounds like stupid, but like when you're, okay, I've been doing this for way too long, but when you're like looking at yourself for like hours on end like editing and stuff um you can just really it just I don't know it just really bothers me I'm gonna put some chapstick on this is just Burt's Bees um vanilla bean I'm gonna just throw on some of this it cosmetics CC cream what shade is it fair probably like the lightest one because I'm so pale I like to do this all at once. I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think this is the lightest shade too. This is Fair Neutral. Actually, I don't know if this is the lightest shade. I think it might be one shade lighter. I'm just gonna pop some of this under my eyes. And on my chin. Cute, we love it, okay. And I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and just blend away. What else did I wanna talk about? Um, Adeline is turning one. 
on February 20th. So I've been like working on getting everything ready for her party. I kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say I waited last minute because it's still like a whole month away, but um, well, less than a month away now, but um, I just wanted to wait until, hit the sneeze. I just wanted to um, wait until after the holidays to like focus on her party. But I don't want to like use the term like I'm stressed or it's overwhelming because I really don't think it is, but there's just like a lot going on with it. I want to make sure it's like perfect because you know it's like her first birthday, so. Oh, I know, so I'm so sick. Um, and that's another thing why I haven't really been filming or editing because when after she goes to bed is normally when I edit. But by the time she goes to bed, whether it's him putting her to bed or me putting her to bed, I'm just so tired by the end of the day. And I kind of, I guess that kind of leads into my next topic. Um, and I didn't want to put this in the title because I didn't want people to think I was like catfishing them or not catfishing. I didn't want to put this in the title because I don't want people to think I was gonna like clickbait or whatever, but I wanted to talk about postpartum depression. And I know this is a very serious topic. I, I don't want to say I have it because I, I don't think I'm depressed. Um, I've never been diagnosed with anything with anxiety or depression, so I really don't know what it's like. But on my social media, I asked if like the baby blues were still a thing and some people said yes well at 11 months postpartum some people said yes and then other people said no that it's usually just in like the beginning but like I don't know if it's just with everything going on with her birthday and like well not that works a thing but like my work schedule hasn't really been what's the word I'm looking for I don't know I don't know if it's just because like everything going on or what I don't know if I'm just overwhelmed, but I haven't really been like my prep, my preppy. Why can't I talk today? I haven't really been my peppy self that I usually am. Um, of course, like in front of people and on like social media, it looks like it, but it was just kind of like another reason why I really haven't been even like on Instagram. If you guys have noticed, I really haven't posted a lot. And most of it is because I don't like the way my hair looks in pictures. But honestly, if I didn't want to be in a photo, I could just post a picture of Adeline. And I haven't even done that. And I haven't really been like vlogging or filming. I just kind of lost motivation. So I really don't know what's wrong. I don't want... A lot of people said like talk to the doctor, but I don't think it's postpartum depression. I feel like I would know if I'm depressed, but... I'm definitely not because I do have like some cheery moments and stuff and like AJ and I had a date, a date today and we haven't really had one in like a while but we, it was like very good we were like, I was like having like a good time. I feel like if I was like depressed I wouldn't be having a good time. But like I said, I don't know how that works, you know what I mean? So like if you have struggled or if you're struggling with it, can you comment down below and let me know because I know I wasn't, I don't want to give too much away because like a lot of that's like personal and stuff and like my friends and family watch these so I don't want to like say too much but feel free to like email me too or like DM me because I really want to know more about it and I would be happy to talk with you guys too if you need someone to talk to but so yeah that's like mostly really like the big things Adeline's birthday which it's Alice in Wonderland themed um I was kind of taking a twist on like Addie in Wonderland, but like, you know, like O-N-E, Wonderland, get it? Okay, I took way too long blending that in. I normally don't take that long, but I'm just gonna set some of it with this CoverGirl. I think it's CoverGirl. And I just take another beauty blender and then, I don't, I guess this is baking, I don't know, but I just like to set it underneath my eye and my chin and like jawline area because that's where I really wanted to like sit. I'm just gonna use this like little elf bronzing palette and I like to mix the two together. <clears throat> I need some water and then I go ahead and just like sweep it on my cheeks a little bit. Um, but yeah, so her birthday party, I'm really excited because um, I'm doing a lot of like things my own like DIY. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely stay tuned because that's something even if I like film it, if I don't get it up right away, I definitely want to get it up eventually um, because that's something I want to like always look back on. I don't want to just like have it like the footage just sitting on the computer. You know what I mean? I don't remember what I was saying. 
So yeah, I'm doing like a lot of things myself and I kind of want to like show you guys like what I'm making and things like that. So if you guys want like inspiration for like your kids' party or if you wanted to do like an Alice in Wonderland theme, I definitely want to film that. I'm probably definitely going to film a haul. I really want to. Um, and like everything that I have gotten so far for like decorations and things like that. But a lot of things I did order off of Amazon. Like things that like I really couldn't make or that I don't have time to make. Oh, now I'm just like setting the rest of my face with the same CoverGirl powder. Oh, my nose. Um, I guess let's put some blush on. I don't really have any blush palettes. I have this L'Oreal True Match blush, Rosy Outlook. Whatever, give me some color in my face because I'm so pale. Um, can't wait for summer. Honestly, that's another thing too. I don't know if like this whole winter thing because I live in Pennsylvania So I don't know if like the winter blues are getting to me. I really don't know but whatever. And then I'm gonna just take this elf uh, eyeshadow palette. It's mad for matte It just has like a lot of like matte shades And I usually just take like these colors and I put them on top of my lid We'll leave that on. I'm using just like an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, nothing fancy. One thing I like about having eyelash extensions, you really don't have to do a lot of like eyeshadow work. Yep. And then I like to take like a big fluffy brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I like using it for eyeshadow. Let's not judge. And then I like to take like these three dark shades. Um, they don't have names, sorry. Uh, but and I just like to put that like in my crease. I really don't do anything with my eyebrows, honestly. Um, if I don't ever get them uh, done, then I'll like fill them in a little bit. But normally, when I get them like waxed, I don't really do anything because I like—I mean, they're cleaned up, so I don't really touch them. But because I do have eyelash extensions, I can't put like any oil-based stuff on my eyes, so I haven't really worn any mascara. Or not mascara. Well, yeah, mascara and um, eyeliner. So I usually just take like a really small brush. This is from Elf, and I take like the darkest shade, and I just use that for like eyeliner. And that's basically all I do. I'll probably just throw on some like lipstick, maybe, or even just like some gloss. But I really don't go crazy. Oh, that that took 18 minutes. Normally, I guess if I wasn't talking and just like taking my griddle time, it'd probably be a little quicker. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry, it's kind of like random and all over the place. I'm sorry, I've kind of been MIA. Um, I don't know if this video even cleared anything up, but um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stick around. And I will see you guys in my next video.